All right, let's see how this goes. All right, my name is Veplo. I play way too much Star Wars Galaxies, and I've been noticing with a lot of new players on Finalizer uh, that there are a lot of cool things that we can share with, with new players, and honestly, even a lot of veterans. I've watched a lot of veterans stream recently, and I'm like, holy shit, why are they doing it that way? Anyway, so I'm going to see if uh, maybe I record a little series of videos called Vepro Tips, and I think a good easy starting point for Vepro Tip number one would be travel aliases. Travel aliases are commands you can run uh, with well, the shortcuts for commands you can run to buy tickets between starports, even if you're not at that location at the time. And it, it just makes traveling uh, much quicker and, and easier. All right, so here, I'll just demonstrate it first. So here we are. Uh, you can see I'm on Dantooine. I'm at the Imperial Outpost. And let's say I wanted to go to Locke. So I want to get all the way to Nim Stronghold. Uh, you know, the way that before you, you know these cool tricks, what you do is I would click on Coronet or Corellia, buy a ticket to Coronet. And then I would load in Coronet, run inside to the ticket machine, buy a ticket to, let's say, Kadara, fly to Naboo, same deal, fly to Locke. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm here in Dant, so I'm going to type Dantooine to Coronet, and that buys me a ticket, and then Coronet to Kadara, and then Kadara to Locke. And now I'm going to start my board loop macro. That's all that guy's doing. So I'm following the transport shuttle, and you'll see it says it has... 45 seconds left. So I'm just going to pause this so you guys don't have to wait for this countdown. Uh, you know, here, I'll run outside first and then I'll pause it. There we go. So, I mean, it would have worked from inside there, but uh, I will unpause this once we are a few seconds away. All right. There's about five seconds left. Uh, I'm, I'm just recording this in one take. Uh, I don't feel like doing a lot of video editing for this. If I did it, you know, perfectly the way I wanted to do it, I know I would just never do it. So I thought it would be better to, you know, do it poorly than to not do it at all. All right, so uh, my, my keyboards, uh, my mouse, I'm not touching them. I got my hands in my pockets here. Once I can start fucking boarding the shuttle. Jesus Christ. I forgot how long it takes after it says the shuttle will be here. There we go. All right, so I have an old shitty laptop uh, down here in my mom's basement, uh, and I've got a lot of high-res texture packs, so this may take longer to load than you are accustomed to. So you'll see I will load in uh, Corellia, and then I, uh, in Coronet, and then I will start running towards the transport shuttle, and then I should board because it's in. It's about to begin boarding. There we go, now I'm boarding. So now I should load uh, to Kadara. So it should say Nabu next. There we go. And then once again, once I load in Nabu, then I should uh, start running towards transport. And then hopefully, uh, if we don't have to wait for it, fly to Nim Stronghold on lock. There we go. Look at, oh, look at that. That's a great example. At no point uh, did we even see Kadara, right? It... It loaded and it started running me towards that transport shuttle and it boarded before I could finish loading everything. And then here we are. So let me uh, cancel uh, my dump my macro and stop following. So there we are. So that was a great demonstration. I went from Dantooine to Locke, uh, way quicker, way less work. So I think that should hopefully demonstrate that this is a useful tip to learn. Uh, if you don't think it is, then you know that's fine. If you, you, don't, you don't have to. Just stop the video now and go on with your life. I don't, I don't give a shit. All right. So next, uh, I just want to talk about <clears throat> uh, a little bit uh, how they work or what, what what's going on. So we, we can see here, like, let's say I want to go from lock to um, uh, whatever, back to Kadara. So I'm running lock to Kadara. And what that's doing is it's running. You'll see I can hit the up uh, control up arrow here. So it's running this command, purchase ticket. So that's the command for buying a ticket. The syntax is the planet, so lock, and then the, the starport, the shuttle port you're at. So NIM stronghold is the name of this one. Uh, you'll notice instead of spaces, there's underscores. That's the departure planet and location. And here are the uh, arrival planet and location. And at the end, I have single just to buy a single ticket. I don't want a round trip. And then, you know, we can run the board shuttle command. And well, in this case, whoops, in this case, it said 34 seconds left. So, so that's how that works. All right. So how do you get this in your, um, how do you get the setup for your client? All right. So here, oh, I have uh, linked below uh, to a paste bin, just a text file. So these are all the travel aliases. You'll notice, like, let's say I'm leaving Bestine. 
So here are all the Bestine commands. Bestine 2 Anchorhead, Bestine 2 Coronet, 2 Dobogurfel, 2 Isley, 2 Mosentha, Mos Espa, 2 uh, Farhaven, I guess that was a player city, 2 Giggle Dust, another player city on Basilisk. Uh, I just copied these right in my alias file. Uh, I know the old ones online had some typos or some mistakes. They're probably fixed in mine because I've been using these for years. You also see some Basilisk player cities. They're no big deal to have in there. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to, well, I guess first you want to make sure that so here, let me open up. This is the folder for my uh, client. Oh, balls.txt and balls2.taint. Let's delete those. We don't need those. All right, so here, you see, I have an aliases file because I've been using aliases. If you don't have an alias file, what you can do in game, let's go back to the chat view here, is you can make an alias. So you can make the command to make an alias is called just alias, A-L-I-A-S, alias. We'll say vep, and we'll say tell veplo fuck you you bald fat fucking loser all right so that's how you would make boom alias set so now in the future you could just run slash vep and it'll try sending oh look at that i've no it won't because i have a bunch of other all right we'll say son of a bitch so much for doing this in one take now i'm gonna leave this in so we'll make we'll just we'll just call we'll call this one veplo we'll do a full veplo boom alias set so now if i were to run slash veplo it will try sending a tell to Veplo saying, fuck you, you bald, fat, fucking loser. But now that we have that, you can run slash save. And when you run slash save, oh, balls 2 taint. Yeah, I was showing in an earlier recording of this that I already fucked up. So I could say balls. Oh, here, let me uh, turn on this again. So uh, if, if I do, you, you could save with other commands. So balls, uh, I'll just say balls dot text. Uh, you know, we'll say bigballs.txt. We'll make it a little bit different. Unique for this take. Save bigballs.txt. You'll see uh, bigballs.txt will show up. However, if you've not been a fucking moron like me, um, it'll just save to aliases.txt. It'll just save there by default. So normally if you run save, it'll create that alias.txt file. So once you have that file, all right, so now we have... Uh, you have an alias.txt file, so you just come over to that link I pasted. Copy all this, right? You get it all copied, and then head over to your uh, alias.txt file. Oh, let me uh, show you that. So this, I've, oh, I've got it open in a uh, favorite text editor here. I mean, Sublime Text, you just paste that shit in. Uh, you'll see it's about 386 lines, and then you would just save that, control S. And then once you edit the text file externally, uh, to reload it, you don't have to hard log, you don't have to soft log or any of that shit. If you have your client open already, you can just do load. So, OLED, load it from big ball. Oh, great, super. Yours, <laughs> yours won't say alias is loaded from big balls.txt. Yours will say alias is loaded from aliases.txt. Um, so, that's it. So, now that you have them in there, uh, all right, you can start using them. So, let's see. If want, let me board. No, I'm still too, too far uh, from the shuttle. Yeah, so now you have them. You've copied them from the, the text file. You've pasted them in your aliases.txt. You've saved, saved uh, loaded them in the game or just open the client if it was closed. All right, so there's a couple little, uh, you know, um, things to know about using them. The abbreviations are just generally what you would guess, right? So if you want to go from coronet to, uh, you know, theed, core to the first three letters of, of each one. So if you want to go from then, you know, the to Kadara, boom. D to Kadara. Then you want to go from Kadara to, uh, I don't know, Corvella, K -A -K -O -R. I'm just guessing the first three letters and it's working. And then from Corvella, let's say we want to go to death. Boom, there we go. So I'll run slash BO to board. Uh, so that's it. So when you, when you go to buy it, you can't just buy it at any time. Uh, you have to be under 10 meters from the ticket terminal. Uh, now, thankfully, Ticket terminals are within 10 meters from outside of the starport, well, inside the inner loop of the starport. So once this loads, oh, it's so hard to type. My fingers are cold. Oh, I wish I had heat. All right, so we will run up front here. So you see a mini map. I'm running to the front of the starport where the ticket takers are. Let's see. I think it's going to go to ticket collector over. But if if I do uh, tar ticket. Yeah, see, it's targeting ticket collector, not ticket taker. Oh, well, ticket collector comes alphabetically before ticket, uh, t uh, the ticket machine. But so you see here, I, I can run, you know, uh, uh, whatever, I'll do Corvella to 
Doodle Kerfuffle, doesn't matter. So you see, you can purchase tickets. So I'm outside of the, the building itself, but I'm within 10 meters of that ticket taker. So you just have to be within 10 meters. Um, the, the abbreviations are usually um, three letters like that. Uh, another thing that's that's useful to, to mention is let's say that first trip where we went from Dantooine to, to Naboo, right? Uh, lots of times if I'm riding in my shuttle, I'm running and I, and I don't want to miss it. Instead of typing them one at a time, you know, uh, Dantooine to Cornet, hitting enter. You can just chain them. Dan to Cor there goes the shuttle. Dantooine to Cornet, Cornet to Kadara, Kadara to Lock, right? So I've got all three there. And let me run back over here. And I have semicolons between. I'll hit enter on that. And you'll notice it gave me three. I bought three tickets. I got three of these fucking things open. So now, you know, if we were to go in my inventory here, I've just got travel tickets out the out the bedoodle here. Tons of them. Um, yeah. All right. So the next thing I want to the uh, the next thing I want to mention is my uh, travel alias or my travel macro. Uh, optional. You don't have to use this with the aliases. I just like it. Like I said, it does follow transport. The, the shuttle itself that lands is called transport shuttle. It has a pause and then it runs BO for, for board shuttle. And then it just loops. So that's what I used to run towards. In fact, I think I can target the transport shuttle even when it's not here. Yeah, so you see. Oh, my heater just kicked on because I'm in a fucking basement. But uh, so it's saying transport shuttle is 40 meters away. I think it's, I don't know if it's below the ground or above. Yeah, you see the arrow is just pointing straight up. So it's still kind of here. Oh, there it comes. But you'll notice it doesn't actually change the distance. But yeah, so that's what the, the macro does. It just follows it and then runs board. So like, if I'm in a player city on on uh, Naboo or Locke or fucking Dantooine, and let's say, yeah, I'm player city in Dantooine, I want to go to player city in Locke. And I've got that four and a half minute shuttle wait on Dantooine. I can just... Uh, buy my tickets, run my macro, and then, you know, instead of waiting f potentially four minutes for the first shuttle and then one, two, three, you know, instead of waiting eight minutes, uh, I can just run that run, walk away from my computer, climb out of the basement, see if it's night nighttime or daytime, see if my kids are still alive, uh, you know, maybe pee in a toilet for a change instead of the bucket next to my desk, uh, you know, grab a snack, a water, or, you know, a Mountain Dew, whatever. Yeah, so that's it. Oh, uh, one other thing I wanted to mention about Vepro tip number one here is uh, if you want to add a player city. So you can look at a map here, and we could look at the city names. I guess let me switch to default here. So actually, shuttle ports. So you'll want to um, go down here, and you'll see, let's say I want to buy one to uh, Raccoon City Umbrella Corporation. All right, so... We got that. I wonder if I could get it in the chat view here. Probably not. Well, maybe. Maybe it gets a little small here. All right, so it starts to cut it off. But what I'd have to do is, let's say I wanted to make uh, a feed to there. So if you want to add your own player city, the, so alias, I'll say feed to RAC for Raccoon City Umbrella. Um, two things you need to know is it's case sensitive. Uh, so actually, first let me do Nabu. And then, uh, what is, Theed is different. Theed is like a spaceport or something. Do I have a Theed in here? There you go. So, Theed, spaceport, and then Nabu. So, it's case sensitive. So, raccoon, instead of spaces, you use underscore, city, umbrella, corporation. Let me just make sure I spelled corporation right, because I'm a moron. Raccoon, city, umbrella, corporation. So the to rack, there you go, alias set. So let me run uh, over here, all right, back to the front. So we'll test my uh, feed to rat. So I'll do the to RAC. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it would help if I, <laughs> if I use the purchase ticket command. All right, so I done fucked that one up. So I just went up alias and we need to do purchase P-U-R-C-H-A-S-T. All right, so now let me try uh, the two R-A-C. Uh, still fucked it up. What the hell? A-L-I-A-S-P-U-R-C-H-A-S-T-2-R-A-C. 
Alias set. V2 rack. Why is it saying it? What the hell am I doing wrong here? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I put this in the wrong space. Look at this, somebody needs to sleep. Somebody needs to take his meds. Purchase P-U-R-C-H, purchase T. There we go. Alias Theta Raccoon City Purchase T. Boom. So now let's try the 2 RAC. RAC. Boom. So it worked. Um, oh, don't blur. Don't blur, you fuck. So purchase tickets. If I. So I'll run up and I'll buy one that doesn't exist. I'll just add some, you know, some garbage on the end here. So if I were to do that and run it, it just says no location found for your destination. Or if, or if I had fucked up uh, Theed instead, let's say, Theed is weird, it says Spaceport, most of the other ones say Starport. But let's say I forgot that, and I changed this to Starport. So now if I were to run this command, it'll say no given departure. So, you know, that's it. So yeah, this is a uh, fucking 16 minutes, oh my god, I thought this would be like four minutes. I wanted this to be a quick Vepro tip. Fuck me, 16 minutes, Jesus Christ. All right, whatever, let's make another minute. So in summary, uh, go to that paste bin, text file, copy it, paste into your alias file, slash load, or open the client, uh, and now you can just do three letter abbreviations for every city, number two, another one, and it'll buy you uh, a ticket from one place to another. It saves a ton of time. Uh, uh, I love it. Oh my God, I can't believe that was fucking 16 minutes. Fucking stupid. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot.